In breaking news this afternoon, GOP presidential candidate Donald Trump is in Asheville right now, touring damage from Hurricane Helene. He's speaking right now. Let's listen in. In this region, felt helpless and abandoned and left behind by their government. And yet in North Carolina's hour of desperation, the American people answered the call, much more so than your federal government, unfortunately. Citizens poured into western North Carolina from all over the country, bringing food, water, fuel, medical aid, even helicopters, and their own uh, rescue standards started, and they started at a very high level, credible, what they've done. Having no experience, they learned very quickly, but they've helped so much. Nothing is more inspiring than to see the American spirit triumph over adversity with the most selfless acts of generosity and love. One of the patrons who stepped forward to help was Adam Smith, a former Green Beret. Adam transformed the parking lot of a Harley Davidson dealership into a makeshift airbase to help distribute supplies. Did an incredible job, Adam. What an amazing act of citizenship and service. And I think Adam might be here. Where's Adam? Adam, come on up here. Say a few words, Adam. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank great, you, great job. I've seen him on television quite a bit. What a job you've done. Thank you. Can I give Please. you something before yes, I Yes, thank you. This is a little token oh, from the guys. Beautiful. Thank you very That's much. been with us since the third day. That's for you. And this is the moniker they've given us. Thank you very much. I'm going to thank say you, that. Mr. President. Yeah, I appreciate thank you. it. Please. I just want to say thank you for coming. Thank you for everybody here. The biggest fear that Western North Carolina is sitting on right now, at least from the communities we've talked to, is being forgotten. And to have you here and have an opportunity to have this conversation at a national level will keep Western North Carolina on the map and not leave the communities holding the bag on the back end of this. So we're very grateful that you've shown up and we're very grateful that you've taken the time. We're also appreciative in the timeline that you did it. it gave us space to operate and function and gave us space to provide relief where it needed to go. And we're very grateful for that, Thank Mr. You, President. Thanks, sir. Thank Great you job. very much, sir. Great job. Thank you very much. We're also joined by Brian Burpo, owner of Diamondback 4x4, where we are today. And uh, Brian, you have a very interesting story to tell. Do you mind uh, telling it? No, not at all. Thank you. So I got a uh, phone call from uh, my general manager. And uh, he said, well, the building's underwater. And I couldn't believe it because the river is so far away from us and I thought he was just playing a joke or whatever else. But we finally made our way to the building and um, I couldn't believe what I saw when I got off the Swanano exit. We lost bridges, we've lost businesses, we lost homes, we've lost people. The devastation here is just not anything I would have ever imagined. So. I think all of the first responders, all of the nonprofit organizations that have come to our aid to help with the machinery and the people, the hands, the boots on deck, I, I just, it, it's amazing. I am overwhelmed by generosity. And even with everything that's going on in our country today, for the past three weeks, that was put to the side and everybody joined together and lent a hand. Um, some people couldn't be here, so they sent their contributions uh, with somebody else, and they indirectly helped. That, uh, we, we need those people still. We need that support. Um, we're good on water, though. We got plenty of water. so. <laughs> We're good on water, but um, we have pallets of water laying around if anybody needs water. But um, we, we are, are very humbled and honored that, um, that you guys keep us in your, in your minds and in your prayers. Uh, we're gonna need that for quite some time. So as there are still families that are displaced from each other, uh, Pray, pray for peace for those folks, some peace of mind. Um, 
Mr. President, I can't thank you enough for coming out. I've had in the back of my mind, I just, I even made a comment to somebody. Trump would just show up. Trump would just show up. <laughs> we need it. We need that shot of hope in the arm. We need that, uh, we need to know we're going to be okay and not forgotten. You won't be. Thank you. You won't be. Thank Get you. Get it done together. Thank you very much. Great job. And Mike Stewart, the owner of Pine View Buildings, is here. Mike? Mike, please. Yeah, we, uh, we had a business right across the street, like with the Swannanoa River flowing on the backside of it, and uh, we lost everything. We had 70 plus buildings, and we drove here two days later, and there wasn't one building that was ours, but there were houses and trailers and tankers and all sorts of things that were strewn across our property. And we lost a business, but there are a lot of people who, who lost everything, including loved ones. And I believe that you can serve as a great inspiration to this community right now. And the reason being is I think God's given you an indomitable spirit. And no matter what gets thrown at you, um, you find a way to press through. And I think that'll serve as an inspiration to this community to press on and move forward. Um, I can't think of anything I'd rather have than a, a warrior leading our country, a warrior who, with the help of God and with faith and prayer, will lead this community, these communities, and this country uh, to greatness. So thank you for being here today. Thank you. Come here, come here. I never heard anything. And it, it, that was from the heart. No speechwriter could write that, that <laughs> thing, right? If you don't mind, yes. just because my heart's yes. about to be there, do you mind if I pray for you? Yes, please. Okay, so, and all those that you that are prayers, would you join with me in this prayer? Father, I thank you for this man that you have raised up in this moment, in this season, for your purposes. And I pray that you would anoint him, that things aren't done just by might or by power, but by your spirit. So I ask that you would anoint President Donald Trump and give him a spirit of wisdom and understanding and insight as he moves to lead this nation back to greatness. In Jesus' name I pray. Wow, that's something you don't hear that often. It's incredible. And I appreciate that from both and from everybody. That's really nice. Um, I, would, uh, I would like to thank some of the people that have come. Senator Ted Budd, who's been so fantastic, a great senator, and uh, become a very popular senator, too, highly, highly respected in Washington, D.C. And uh, he's here, and I'd like him just to say, a couple of words, Ted, if you don't mind, please come on up. Mike, I want to thank you for your prayers uh, for the president and for this region, because uh, people who first looked at this and they said this might be days or weeks, but this is going to take months and years. And Mr. President, I'm grateful for you coming here. And I want you all to know, as the president and I spoke and I spoke with his team, he was like, when can we come to North Carolina? I said, soon, Mr. President, but there's a lot of work to be done. And nobody understands that like a builder, how to build or, in this case, how to rebuild something. So, Mr. President, I appreciate you coming here, your heart for the people, your love for them. And um, it's going to take a lot of work for Western North Carolina. And I don't think anybody that's running for office understands it as well as you do. So thank you for coming, for your understanding, for your love for this country. And we look forward to making what's a great area greater once again. God bless you. Thank you. You've been listening to presidential candidate and former President Donald Trump speak in the Asheville area. He's there to survey the storm damage after Helene. Several business owners there as well, one offering prayers of support to the former president and also speaking about the damage that was done in western North Carolina. Also, North Carolina Senator Ted Budd was in attendance. You heard him speaking most recently there. Behind the former president as well, 11th District Representative Chuck Edwards, which covers most of western North Carolina, the congressman for western North Carolina. We'll continue to follow this all throughout the day right here on WIFF News 4 and bring you the latest as we go throughout the day.